Algebra 1, Order of Operations, Evaluating Without Grouping Symbols. So let's begin by looking at the order of operation rules. And I like to use the mnemonic, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or PEMDAS, to remind us of the order of operations. The P stands for parentheses, which are the grouping symbols. You will always do the innermost grouping symbols first. Then you will do exponents, followed by multiplication and division, left to right, and then addition and subtraction, left to right. So parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, left to right, addition and subtraction, left to right. So let's look at two examples where we can employ these rules and evaluate the expression when x equals 4 and our example is 3x squared plus 1. So we begin this process by substituting in the 4 for the x in the equation. And before we do the multiplication of 3 times 4, we have to do the exponent first. So 4 squared gives us 16. So now we have an expression of 3 times 16 plus 1. Now working left to right, we do multiplication and division before we do addition and subtraction. So 3 times 16 gives us 48 plus 1. And 48 plus 1 now gives us a sum of 49. So exponents first, followed by multiplication, then addition. The second example, we have 32 divided by x squared minus 1. So we begin again by replacing the x with the 4. This gives us 32 divided by 4 squared minus 1. Now before we can do multiplication and division, we first have to solve for the exponent. And so therefore, 4 squared equals 16. So now we have 32 divided by 16 minus 1. And this gives us a chance to use multiplication and division before addition and subtraction. So 32 divided by 16 gives us 2, and 2 minus 1, of course, gives us a final value of 1. So for the order of operations, remember we always work left to right. We do grouping symbols first. We do exponential activities next. Multiplication and division working left to right. And then addition and subtraction left to right.